Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Destiny video. And in today's video, I want to show you guys something pretty damn awesome. If you saw my video on the last Bungie update, then you'll know that along with all the changes that came with the new 1.1.1 update, they also added some rather handy functionality to the Bungie.net website, which allowed you to move items from your vault to your character and vice versa. And for those of us living the three character lifestyle, then you can even move something from your first character into the vault and from the vault onto your next character. But let's be honest, even though that's a million times better than what we used to have to do, which involved flying to the tower, depositing items and switching characters, it is still a little bit long winded. Well, now there's a solution that's going to make your multi character lifestyle so much more convenient. All credit and thanks for what I'm about to show you goes to Reddit user, and I really hope I pronounced this correctly, Utral, E U T R A L. See, what Utrell has been doing since the release of 1.1.1 is working on this awesome project which effectively provides you with a drag and drop solution to item management and lets you move items between characters. The reason this surpasses the companion app is because it allows you to drag items from one character directly onto another without having to go via your vault. The app does all the backend movement for you. But it gets even better. The app also allows you to define loadouts and upon selecting a loadout for a particular character the app will look through your vault and all three characters or however many you've got, pull the items you want to the character you chose the loadout from and swap items accordingly. Which means, if you have a PvP loadout and perhaps a raid loadout, then swapping them now just got a bajillion times easier. Now do bear in mind, while this is still fully functional and is still flipping awesome, it is also still a work in progress. Utrell is working to fix bugs and add additional features but I'll speak more about that at the end of this video. For the time being, let me actually show you how this thing works. Also, you may wonder why when I demonstrate this, you're not seeing my usual three characters, the triple hunters with all the exotics. The reason for this, again, I'll speak more about at the end of the video, but effectively, the app currently reads whichever platform was registered first on your Bungie account. And because my PlayStation profile was registered first because I play the Destiny Alpha, it's reading my PlayStation characters instead of my Xbox ones, which you can clearly see I haven't leveled up. I have a level 5 Hunter and a level 3 Titan. But this will be fixed, and for now, obviously only affects people that play on multiple platforms. If you only play on PlayStation, that's fine. If you only play on Xbox, that's fine. But if, like me, you play on both platforms, then it's whichever one you registered first. Anyway, that aside, let's get down to the demo. So, in order for this to work, you need to be logged into Bungie.net. So as you can see, if I go over here, this is my Bungie.net profile, these are my three Xbox characters, and if I click here, you can see I have my level 5 Hunter and my level 2 Titan. So, if you then go back to this page here, this is Destiny Item Management. As you can see, on the far left, you have your Vault. This is, as I mentioned, my PlayStation character, so I have very little there, but I have four emblems in my Vault. Over here, I then have my level 5 Hunter, which has all the items I currently have equipped at the top, it then has the weapons that I have on my character but not currently equipped, so in my other slots. And it then has the same for armor and also things for styling, so shaders and obviously emblems. Then over here I then have my titan, which again has all the equipped items here, then has my weapon, then has my armor. And as you can see, I basically have nothing. I literally just created this titan for the purposes of this video. And obviously if you had a third character, it would then appear over here. So let's begin with some basic drag and drop item management. On my hunter over here, for example, I currently have a fusion rifle in my secondary slot. I want this sniper rifle, so I simply grab this, drag it over there, let go of it, and as you can see, the sniper rifle is now in the secondary slot, and the fusion rifle is now back in reserve. If I then switch over to Destiny, you can now see if I have my character select screen open whilst holding the fusion rifle. If I then do what I just did, drag the sniper rifle onto my equipped slot, then you'll see that the sniper rifle swaps right in front of you. Again, I can do the same for the primary weapon, so let's swap the hand cannon out for the assault rifle, or the auto rifle, should I say. And there you go, once again, if I switch over to Destiny, so you can actually see what it looks like, it swaps it right in front of you. This can be done with anything you see here. So I can swap out my helmet, I can swap out my chest piece, I can even swap out my gauntlets, and I can even swap out my emblem if I so wish. So if I want to drop the Hunter one, I can now put this one on here, so as you can see, I've got the old Rasha one there. And if I want to take something from my vault, again, I can simply drag that over to my section here, and it then appears over here. So, that is general drag and drop item management. Next up, let me show you another scenario. As you can see, my hunter has a hand cannon in his primary weapon slot. I actually want him to have an auto rifle. As it currently stands, my titan is holding the auto rifle. So what you would normally do in order to overcome this in Destiny, you would either, if you're playing the game, simply fly to the tower, drop the auto rifle off, switch characters and go and pick it up, or if I was using the companion app, I would drag the auto rifle into the vault and then drag it from the vault to my hunter. Not in this, however. I'm simply gonna grab the auto rifle, drag it over to my hunter, and you'll see in a second it will replace it, my hunter is now holding the auto rifle and the titan has now been given the next replacement weapon. 
you can see he had a Kvostov in his reserve slot, so it simply put that into his primary weapon slot and it's done all the shuffling for me. This is one of the most powerful things about this app. This is how it's going to make your life so much easier. All the back-end management, it does it for you. As I said, if I normally wanted to do this myself, I would have had to have manually done the Kvostov switch myself, dragged the auto rifle into the vault, dragged it back and done all that switching for myself, but this app works it out for me. So, that is pretty damn awesome. But, I mentioned the concept of loadouts. Let me show you something even cooler. So, if you go up here to one of the drop downs, let's say for the Hunter for example, I already have one which I've called original. I'm going to click on this for a second and it's going to restore everything to how it was before, just so that I have my original gear set up. You can see it's doing some shuffling in the background, that's because it's working out what needs to be moved around, but I'm now back to exactly where I started at the beginning of this video. I can, however, make multiple loadouts. So let me show you, for example, I'm going to create a PvP loadout. Okay, admittedly, my weapons aren't that great, but I'm still going to do it. If you go and click on the Create Loadout option, in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen is a text box. I can use this to title my loadout, so I'm going to call it PvP. I then simply go through and click on the items that I want. So let's say, for example, I want the auto rifle in my primary weapon slot. I want the sniper rifle in my secondary slot, and I want to use this rocket launcher. I want this helmet, I want these boots, and that will do for a loadout. So I'm now going to click Save. Now if I click the drop down, you can see I have the original one, which is the one I'm currently using, and I have PvP. If I click this, you'll now see it will begin to shuffle my items. It'll take a second while it works out what things need to be moved, but once it's done, you now see that I'm wearing the brown helmet, I've got the auto rifle in my primary slot, the sniper rifle in my secondary slot, and the rocket launcher in my heavy slot. If I now switch over to Destiny, what you see right now is my original loadout. I'm now about to hit PvP, and you're going to see the item switching begins. Once it's done, you'll see that I'm now holding the auto rifle in my primary slot, the sniper rifle in my secondary, the rocket launcher in my heavy, and my helmet has changed as well. So, everything I asked for in my loadout has now changed. And that, again, has been done completely without the use of the vault. Now let me take that one step further. I'm now going to create a third loadout. I'm going to call this one Raid. Obviously I'm not going to Raid at level 5, but just go with me here. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to say on this loadout, I want the Kvostov that the Titan is holding. I then want to take these boots. I want to take this sniper rifle. In fact, no, I don't want to take the sniper rifle. I want to take the fusion rifle. And then I'm going to go and use this helmet. So, that is my raid setup. Notice how one of the weapons is currently on the Titan. I'm now going to click on the drop down. I'm going to select raid. And now the item switching begins. You'll notice now it's complete. I now have the Kvostov in my primary weapon slot. I have the fusion rifle in my secondary slot, the rocket launcher in my heavy slot, the helmet I asked for, and on the Titan side of things, it simply replaced the Kvostov with an auto rifle instead. What you just saw was me equip a loadout where the Titan was holding one of the weapons in my loadout. It then did the switching for me and still applied it to my Hunter, and once again if you look at it in Destiny, you can then see I went from holding what I had before to holding a Kvostov. So the switching has now happened in real time, just like if you're using the companion app, only this way it's a hell of a lot simpler. And that, my friends, is Destiny Item Manager, courtesy of Utrell. So, if you're impressed with what you've just seen, take a moment to pause this video, click the link in the description box down below, which will take you to Utrell's Reddit post, give his Reddit post an upvote, and comment telling him how flipping awesome he is. Then come back and carry on with this video. Assuming you've now done that, let's talk quickly about a few additional points from the post. Utrell said that at the time of making the app, engrams were causing issues, so as a temporary solution, he's removed all items, which means if you do want to move something like strange coins or heavy ammo around, you are still going to need to go back and use the companion app for now. But this is just a temporary solution, as soon as there's a workaround, then that will be added back to this app, which means it can become your one-stop shop for all item management. In addition to that, as I explained earlier, and was the reason I was showing you the demo on my PlayStation account, there will be a toggle option which will allow you to switch between different platforms so that multi-platform users can access all characters. Also, at this moment in time, it only works on Google Chrome, which is fine for me as that's the browser that I use, but for users out there that have a different browser preference, maybe Firefox or Safari, it might not be ideal. There are some other notes as well, but if you want to read in detail, then head over to the full Reddit post. It lists known issues, upcoming plans, fixes, and basically pretty much everything you need to know about this app in detail. Plus, there is also an installation link there so you can get started and you can begin using this yourself. So, make sure you head over, bookmark it, check back regularly, and most importantly, show you trust some support. This is a truly awesome addition that pretty much all Destiny players will want to use. And with that, my work here is done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, hopefully you found it helpful, and as always if you did, don't forget to leave a like and hit that thumbs up button, and if you're not already part of the Arax Gaming Nation, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this out yet, and if so, what do you think? And once again, thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.